So here I am, I'm outside my parish in St. Phillips. It's been kind of dry here in Winnipeg. We had a really good rainstorm just the other day. But if you look down at our garden, you'll see that the flowers haven't fared extremely well. They haven't lasted for a very long time. Uh, the bloom has come off. But what I want to show you is over here. We have some milkweed. We planted this milkweed a couple of years ago. And uh, one of the advantages of milkweed is that it is the dietary source for your monarch caterpillar, which will turn into a monarch butterfly eventually. Uh, monarch butterflies are great pollinators. And one of the things that's happening as the climate changes is that there are fewer and fewer pollinators around. So we planted milkweed. Uh, and it takes a little bit of time, but this year it has come to fruition. And you can see here there's one, one caterpillar right there, and it's munching on the milkweed. And if I go around, if I find it over here, it's a little bit trickier here, but there's another caterpillar in there also munching on the milkweed. And so these, ooh! There's even a third caterpillar here. This one's sort of hiding. Uh, let's see if I can get an overhead shot of that caterpillar. Uh, let's see, go around from this angle. There's a third one. So there's three caterpillars here, which will soon turn into three monarch butterflies. Uh, the noise you're hearing in the background is city workers uh, trimming trees for pruning. Now, monarchs are important because they're pollinators, and when they are when they are laid as eggs, they eat their way out of the eggs, and then they uh, feed on the milkweed, and the milkweed uh, serves as a poison, and therefore makes them less vulnerable to predators. So. There's been a lack of milkweed. A lot of milkweed has been destroyed. So one thing you can do as a church, if you have a little garden, and if you're in an area where there are monarchs, plant some milkweed, and then you can grow. Um, well, you can increase the number of pollinators, which help the number of flowers to grow, and in general, work well for the environment. So that's what we've got going on here at St. Phillips.